I was looking for a place in, in the neighborhood to kind of be outdoors. And I came upon Eliza Hall Park and then found the nature trail. It was kind of a perfect um, example of this false dichotomy between being in a natural place and being in the city, where people often think that you're not gonna be, you're not gonna be able to have both. What I think is interesting about Eliza Howell is that you don't normally have places that I would consider democratized, which means you don't have to drive there to actually experience nature. Um, it's close to where you live and you can get in and out fairly easily. I think that largely the story about the park is that, you know, it's dangerous and there, there was a lot of dumping here, there was um, a lot of crime happening here. And so really I think a generation of Detroiters grew up not being welcome in this space um, and not feeling safe in this space. The idea was like, how do we change this narrative? How do we catch people up with the reality that this park actually is this gorgeous place? One of the things I often think about is that if you go to a national park, you can do that maybe once a year. You know, you go for a week, you don't really have a relationship with that place. Uh, you go to a place like Eliza Howell, you can visit it so regularly that you can actually feel the pulse and the change of the seasons in, in a place like Eliza Hall. I photographed these subjects at the Detroit Hispanic Development Corporation, which is a community organization that works with uh, kids as early as elementary school all the way through high school. And I approached them with the project around this idea of American identity. What does an American look like? Who are Americans? And that was a personal interest of mine because um, both my parents came from Mexico. So I'm a first generation uh, Mexican-American. And I think a lot about that in the context of how do you identify who an American is? What does an American look like? And who's a patriot? How does an American behave? Aside from you know, asking and looking at papers, how do you really know? How do you really know who's uh, first generation, uh, who has immigrant status? You don't actually, if there's no way to differentiate and they all behave the same way, then again, it goes back to is the only way to identify yourself as American is if you have papers. Um, and so I photographed these kids kind of in that context as well as obviously they're growing up here, they're growing up in the United States, which means that in many ways they're more acclimated and adjusted to being American than they would be to any other country.